Hey folks, this is Phil from Alabama Hot Sauce. That's alabamahotsauce.com on the web. Today I'm in my commercial kitchen doing a little odds and ends and I got to thinking about a subject that a lot of people have asked me about. People say to me all the time, what's with the little plastic thing that goes on top of the bottle and why is it there? So I thought I'd make a real short video to explain that to you just a little bit so you'll know why these are used and when these are used. Now, let's talk now, about when we use these things, this little gizmo at Alabama Hot Sauce. Obviously, if you buy any sauce from us that's designated as a Louisiana-style hot sauce, Louisiana-style is a very particular type of hot sauce. It's a thin, penetrating sauce. It's a finishing sauce. In other words, it's made to be put on your cooked food. It particularly is made with a high vinegar content because people love the high vinegar content. And secondly, vinegar it penetrates all kinds of foods, especially meats. So anytime we make a sauce that we call a Louisiana style, it is by nature thinner than some. And so we put the little dosing cap on there, this little fitment, to make sure you don't dispense too much of it on your food. The other case where we put it on, regardless of whether it's thick or thin, on really, really hot, hot sauces, we put it on there because we want to limit your first use of this instead of having you just pour it out the large neck of this bottle. Really, really hot, hot sauces, if you're not prepared for it, can ruin your food if you use too much. So we put that on there, even though the sauce is thick, and you may find, wow, this stuff doesn't shake out very good. We put it on there as a little protective measure to keep you from dumping too much sauce on your food. That being said, a good number of our sauces, we just supply them with the open bottle. They're not excessively hot. We figure you might want to use a little more than you do with the dash, and so you can just pour it out. You do have to be careful. It's also important to note that any sauce you get with one of these on it, you can simply pop it off. There's no rule that says you have to continue to use this thing just because it came on the bottle. So you can just pop it off, you can leave it on, you can do whatever you want. Before we get away from this, I want to talk about one more little issue having to do with your bottle of hot sauce after you open it. The cap comes off very easily, and as you can see on this one, there's a little dot up there of sauce. Now, that little dot of sauce is gonna get hard and crusty, it's gonna turn ugly red. In addition to that, there is sauce on the fitment cap. Oftentimes we get sauce running down the side of the bottle and in the cap threads. What you ought to do on occasion is you ought to snap your little fitment cap off, take a clean cloth, and just wipe the top of that bottle. Do the same thing to the inside of that cap maybe even rinse it out under a faucet, get that debris out of there, clean your little fitment up, snap it back on, and seal your bottle. That's good sanitary practice. It's much like the cleaning you do anywhere in your house, but for some reason the tops of our bottles, of our things in our cabinet and on our sink in our, our kitchen get neglected. In addition to understanding what the fitment is, Every now and then, snap that thing off, give the neck of your bottle a little wipe clean, wrench your fitment and your cap, put it all back together. And let's keep this hot sauce, and I hope it's Alabama hot sauce, just as good as it was the day you received it. Thank you, folks. I appreciate you joining me, and I'll see you next time.